Hey guys, Mix Media Girl here. So I had so much fun with the record ring pour um, that I saw on Molly's artistry channel that I did, I think it was like a week ago or two now. So I'm gonna do another one. This is a 12 by 12 canvas. I'm actually reusing this canvas because it got damaged while drying. So I just primed over it and we're gonna just paint right over it. I'm using my Artist Loft Flow Acrylics and Basically, I kind of want to see how if you do the Wrecker Ring, it will, I think, bring up some of the colors that kind of can tend to get hidden underneath in your paintings. So that's what we're kind of checking out today. Using rainbow colors. I was going to throw some black in here, but I've now decided against it. We're going to keep this painting pretty light. The last painting I did with... I don't know if you remember. If you, if you didn't see it, I'll put the link down in the description. Also, I'll put the link down for Molly's, one of Molly's uh, recurring pours. So check her channel out. She's been doing this technique for a bit, and she's pretty awesome at it. Um, but yeah, on the last one, I used pink and yellow. And so in this one, I'm going kind of wild rainbow. Get a smidge more red. I'm just layering different colors. I think I already said it, but these are all Artist Law Flow Acrylics. They're all mixed with flow troll and water. It's my usual mixture. Okay, that should be good. So I love tree rings. They're my favorite, but sometimes it's fun to switch them up. So this is a technique that switches up that tree ring technique. It's also a little scary because <laughs> that looks awesome so my inclination right now is to say never mind just kidding I'm not gonna do this but here we go all right so I'm gonna use a stick I think you could probably use your finger or anything it really doesn't matter there's no specific way that you have to do this you just do any patterns that you want and um, so I kind of did an S there I'm gonna do a line here line here and then maybe one more kind of s pattern here really you can just have fun with this and do anything you want so as you can see there are the lines that i put in with the stick they move everything around so now when we tilt we get something pretty unique I did the I did two pours recently that were 28 color pours, but um, a lot of the colors kind of hid on both of them actually. So I think doing this technique would have been pretty cool. But generally, once I decide to do a technique in a video, I kind of stick to that, and then I'll just do another video later trying something else out. I don't usually switch it mid video. Sometimes I will, but. Okay, this is looking awesome. It looks like a, like tropical leaves. Okay, so I missed this corner here, but I actually don't want to tilt this way. I'm gonna take my cup and just fill it in with a little excess paint in here. Okay, yeah, I don't wanna have to tilt to cover that. So now I'll go a little bit that way just to kind of blend in that spot. A little bit more back this way. Okay, I'm happy with that. There is some patterns up here that, oh my goodness, they look so cool. I am so, so, so thankful to Molly for this technique, and I don't know why I haven't tried it <laughs> until just recently, but guys, check out her channel. She does some amazing things. She has some amazing, um, like, balloon pours that she does, and she's very, she's very good. She's very good at what she does, very deliberate with her actions in pouring, so check out her channel and subscribe if you haven't. She's got some other techniques that I need to try out. <laughs> okay, let's let this sit 
or see if anything else develops and then we'll come in for our close-up. Okay, really quick before we do our close-up, that yellow corner is kind of bugging me. I'm gonna take some of the runoff paint here and see if I can blend it in a little more. There we go, okay. <laughs> it was just a little too yellow. Okay, perfect. All right, let's do our close-up. So starting on the lower right hand corner, look at these beautiful lines. Like they look like leaves. It's so cool. Upper right hand corner and look at that killer lacing in there. I'm so in love, you guys. Isn't this awesome? Okay, upper left hand corner. Once again, you see those cool lines that were made from dragging that the stick through. And then lower left hand corner, there's that corner that I just blended in a little bit better. Also some really cool lacing through here. There you have it. So I'm so stinking happy with this. I love it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've tried this technique. Um, definitely pop over to Molly's channel. I'll put that link in the description as I said. And show her some love. Subscribe to her channel if you haven't yet. I will see you next time.